Lens Privateer FX. Coming at you, last day of April. Wow. The first third of the year is already over. Amazing. Let's take a look at the European morning here and see what we think is going to happen. Overnight, China missed PMI just a tad. Came in just a tad lower, 50.2 versus 50.8. Still above 50, but just a tiny little miss there. Um, dollar yen went lower. Low has been 48. We're, we're watching this 40 level. We sold some euro yen at 05 last night. No biggie, tiny, tiny stuff. Um, down here at 79. Uh, no big deal. We're trading for average on these euro yen shorts, so we'll take some of it back. Um, I don't know, between 50 and 75, and then try and resell again up uh, between 90 and 20 again. Um, in Europe this morning, we do have some minor data. We got some GDP figures uh, out of France, German confidence numbers, and then CPI out of France, GDP from Spain, unemployment from Germany. Um, so we do have some economic numbers here out in Europe. This may affect uh, Euro Yen, um, but let's see pretty quiet overall. Euro, as we surmised yesterday, squeezing higher here. Um, we did not break this line here, which we think is the important line, 94. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to hold, um, but if you do want to reshort this stuff, now's the time. You just leave a stop above the figure. Um, we're short Euro Yen, so uh, we're not going to bother playing around with Euro Dollar here, but this is the retest, the death knock, whatever you want to call it, of this 111.95 line. Dollar Swiss not doing much, still waiting, kind of like Dollar Yen here. Let's see if we're going to get a bit of downside. Um, the bars are saying, the candlesticks are saying down, price is saying nothing. Um, so just sitting and waiting uh, you can be core short dollar yen if you want a uh, dollar swiss if you want um, but no real strong feelings here we really just want to wait um, for FOMC tomorrow and see what Powell has to say for the next big move in the dollar uh, let's pull up this euro yen chart why not See, we went up to 09 last night. Uh, we're all just waiting for this uh, 123, 123.68 point. Um, this will be a very interesting money making point. We're now 100 and 119 points away, so don't not really in play, but just kind of kind of have to keep it on the frontal lobe. Dollar yen, as we just talked about, trading on the lower lower end of, of, of the range. We are watching this 40 point. We are we do realize Japan is out. Like we talked about yesterday, we have our eyes on this weekly chart, bearish engulfing. Confirmation of new lows uh, would give us a little bit of uh, something to chew on. But again, um, we're in patience mode here, so we're not diving into anything. Uh, dollar yen through 40 is for a tiny social amount. We're not we're not pushing chips anywhere near the middle of the table here. We are definitely still in patience mode. Equities, they traded up to 50, 29.51, which is a marginal new high, um, but then have come off a bit. That's the weekly. Here's the daily. Very meaningless up here. Um, tiny bar, low vol still is the word of the day. We didn't get much of us of any kind of rattle from bad numbers out of China, so we're just still waiting, waiting for the straw to break the old camel's back. 
uh, it's not here yet so be patient keep waiting quite boring this whole patience be waiting stuff here's Aussie obviously um, traded up to 70 back down to 45 again very meaningless this bar we're now just smack in the middle of the range pretty standard stuff you see China misses they smash Aussie a little bit no big deal nothing to do there um, we're sitting and waiting crude a uh, bit of a bounce yesterday again no trading here we're just following these stories to see if we can get crude stocks yen crosses piece of news um, bonds all acting in a certain way which will give us a clue that it's time to play right now we're not getting any of those signals so there's not time to play crude has bounced a little bit but again no big deal not even at the 50 percent retracement of that big red bar uh, nothing to see here finally what was I gonna look at oh yeah Nasdaq Nasdaq did not make a new high which was kind of interesting so we had this bearish engulf for here we came very very close up there and now we're back below 7800 7761 is uh, is kind of the next interesting point half a percent away we'll have to see finally let's have a look at the DAX interesting day yesterday we really thought uh, for a second there we were gonna get a close below 12 260 of course we did not it was a fake out 12 328 nothing to see here but because we printed this 12 266 low and the day before we were at 12 260 this 12 260 point has more um, is a bit more vital now if you want to get short the DAX, um, we suggest entering on prices below 12,260. Anyway, again, the key today is is uh, social amounts. If you're going to play, otherwise don't play. Just stay vigilant. Keep watching. Keep waiting. Um, the next, you know, big macro moment is FOMC tomorrow. Also, keep in mind it's month end today, so we get some squirrely. Uh, liquidity conditions and some squirrely orders that go through at the fix uh, we tend to avoid uh, these times and just be prepared start preparing yourself uh, for FOMC tomorrow anyway good stuff make some dough today I will uh, catch you guys tomorrow ciao